Okay. Here's the deal. A week ago, I put out a video where I did an updated comparison between DaVinci Resolve Studio and Premiere Pro. If you haven't seen it yet, then this video will make zero sense. So I'll have it linked in the description so you can get some context for the video. So I've been going through the comments of that video like I do with every video, and a few of the comments made me feel like some things needed to be clarified. And then there's one comment that pointed out a huge mistake that I made in that video. And rather than just respond to each individual comment, I figured I'd try to clear things up all at the same time in one video. Cool? Let's get started. The first comment comes from Juan, who says, I purchased my studio activation key from coremicro.com. They sent it to my email account, but now that item is out of stock. I wonder if they'll ever have them available again. Also, quick shout out to New Life Studios, who posted a very similar comment about getting their activation key from Core Micro as well. So I actually got my activation key from Core Micro too. I probably should have said that in the video, but yes, Core Micro typically emails you the activation key instead of mailing you a card. And it usually happens the same day or the next business day, depending on when you actually placed the order. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to Core Micro in the description. Apparently they're out of stock right now, but maybe they'll have more activation keys for sale in the future. Moving on, we've got a comment from my friend Will, the homeschool DJ, who says you can normalize audio in DaVinci Resolve 16. And David White actually posted the same comment along with instructions on how to do that. Now I've responded to both of these comments directly, but just in case anyone else was confused about that, I, I just wanna clarify that I know you can normalize audio in DaVinci Resolve. The point I was making in the video, which apparently I did did not do a very good job of was that there is a specific feature in Premiere Pro that will allow you to tell the software what each individual track is. For example, track one and two are dialogue, track three is sound effects, track four is ambience, and track five is music. And then at the push of a button, Premiere Pro will normalize each track based on what the broadcast standards are for that type of audio. So for example, dialogue clips will get normalized to minus 12 dB, music to minus 35 dB. It's all automatic and it gives you a really good starting point for mixing your audio. That's what I wish DaVinci Resolve had. Sorry if that was unclear before. Okay, the next comment comes from Sky173, who says, I'm surprised it took a couple weeks for the key card to arrive from B&H. I got mine in three days. So going back and watching that video, I realized I was very unclear about this and I apologize. Like I said before, I actually got my activation key from Core Micro and they sent it this same day. The only reason why I mentioned B&H in that video was because they are probably the most well-known authorized retailer for Blackmagic Design. As for the comment about waiting a couple weeks for the keycard to arrive, that wasn't meant to say that B&H will take a couple of weeks to arrive. I honestly don't know how long it takes for B&H to ship the keycards, but three days to arrive isn't bad at all. The comment was just based on stories that either people have told me or that I've read about online and it wasn't meant to make B&H look bad in any way. I love B&H, they're amazing. Still, it would be nice if you could pay Blackmagic Design directly and get an activation code right on the spot like you can with basically everything else. Okay, here's the part of the video where I really have to swallow my pride and admit that I was very, very wrong about something. This comment comes from Kojo who says, you can also add audio effects on a track level in Premiere and it also works with VST and VST3 plugins in Premiere Pro. So in the last video, I said that you could edit audio at the track level in DaVinci Resolve, but in Premiere Pro, everything had to be done to individual clips. And I was wrong. And it's kind of crazy that I was wrong about that because Premiere Pro used to be my main NLE. And as soon as I read that comment, I did a literal face palm because he's right. There is a tool in Premiere Pro called the Audio Track Mixer, and you can not only change the levels of the track with it, but that's where you can add effects and VST plugins to each individual track. Now, granted, that tool is a little bit hidden, and I do feel like it should be a more prominent part of the audio tab in Premiere, which kind of points back to one of the main reasons why I switched to Resolve, but the fact remains that I was very, very wrong and you can edit audio at the track level in Premiere Pro. And speaking of audio, I just got a request for a video comparing the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve with Adobe Audition. Let me know in the comments. Is that something you'd be interested in seeing? Again, if you missed the last comparison video and this video seemed to have no context, I'll have that video linked in the description as well as right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. 
Thanks for watching, and did I just make my first apology video?